Hey everyone, it's a set here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So I have this 15 drawer storage cart and it's working pretty good for me. I don't have a lot of stuff. So when I do get more stuff, I'm obviously going to upgrade. And I do like to keep everything organized and this drawer is just not cutting it out for me. So in this drawer, I have nail foil, nail foil glue. I have striping tape. Um, there's water decals, there's stickers. So I really want to get this drawer just a little more organized because I did order more foils and um, stickers that are going to go in this drawer. So I am actually going to take the foils and I'm going to be putting it into these little containers. These containers I used to use for my crystals. And I bought these off of Dollar Tree or in Dollar Tree. And I think I found them in the hardware section. They're supposed to be for like screws and like bolts and stuff. And I think I have about six of them, so I am going to be using each one for a different category. So first I'm going to start out by taking everything out of this drawer and then I'm going to separate it by categories. So I'm going to divide like the butterflies, the animal print, um, flowers, and then solid colors. that I'm going to start filling up is more of like the solid colors and what I thought was gonna be a little bit more simple took it took so long to wind these little things up because I noticed they were folded in half and I was actually able to fit to into each of these little sections and I'm going to group them together um, by color I really like how organized it all looks and all the colors fit in nice and I have room to add more if I want to add three to it I can so this is the flower section and I'm noticing I have way more than I thought I did. So I am going to use two containers just to sort the flowers. This first container is more of the new um, foils that I got in. And then the second one is more of the older ones. And in the second container I was able to fit three per section. In this next container, I ended up adding all of the butterfly foils as well as the animal print one. Um, I am expecting, like I said before, more foils. So when they come, I'm probably going to have to split these two in half and then just use another container for, uh, container for the animal print. But for now, um, I just ended up putting it in the same container. I did have to go back and add a couple more foils to this container because I wasn't sure where to put them because they were multicolored and I thought it would fit perfect within this container. 
I am really pleased with how this actually turned out. I ended up finding this on Talia's Nails Tales, but she did use a different container, and that container would not have worked for me because my drawers are smaller. Um, but I really like how each container has its own little category, and I could just, if somebody wants flowers, I could only pick up the flower one. So I'm really pleased with how these came out. So after transferring everything, I ended up with all these empty containers and I'm going to try to figure out what to do with them. If you guys have any ideas on what to use them for, let me know. I do know that I'm going to use this container here for a little DIY. So what I ended up doing with these, I ended up cutting off the lids to all of them and then I actually... Um, cut off one of that little side piece right there because I did want that flush because I am going to hot glue all of these little containers together after I hot glued it I did add some tape to the back just to secure it a little more and then all these little pieces fell out so I had to put them back <laughs> I'm putting that to the side because this is what I am going to use it for. Shout out to my sister because she ended up getting me this Born Pretty um, stamping polish, which I'm super excited. And I had no idea where to put it. I mean, I showed you my little storage thing. I tried looking on Amazon for a flat um, polish tray, but they had... They didn't have any that was flat, so I thought I'd make my own. And I really wanted something that would be able to stand up my polishes because I didn't want it to slide all over the place as I was opening and closing the drawer. So this worked out great. And this is what the polishes look like inside my little DIY holder. I am going to do a separate video for the water decals and sticker organization, so keep a lookout for that video. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little foil organization video. If you aren't already doing so, please make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.